Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you all are doing great. This is Usama Jamal. I'm from Superior University Lahore. Today we'll talk about macular degeneration or AMD. So what is AMD? AMD or ARMD stands for age related macular degeneration. It is an eye disease that affects people aged 50 or older. It impairs vision and get worse over time. This vision loss can make normal enjoyable activities difficult significantly affecting your quality of life. It is the leading cause of severe vision loss in the western world. The good news is that AMD can be detected early and can be managed or treated. Before discussing the details of AMD, it is important to understand some anatomy of the eye. The figure shows the side view of a normal eye. At the back of the eye is a thin light sensitive tissue called the retina. The retina receives light and form images and send those images to the brain enabling us to see. At the center of the retina is the macula. Now what is macula? Macular degeneration is the breaking down of the macula, the area that processes our central vision and enables us to see details and colors. Sensitive, small and tissue paper thin, the macula is particularly vulnerable to deterioration. As the macula breaks down, our sharp central and detailed vision is impaired. AMD alters the central vision we require for activities like reading, watching TV, driving, working, telling time and recognizing faces. Someone with AMD might require magnifying glass or more light to read. They might need assistance with daily living. Now, coming to the types of AMD. There are two types of AMD, so called dry AMD or early stage and wet AMD or advanced stage. AMD. It is the most common form accounting for about 90% of patients. It is a slowly progressing thinning of the macula. When the delicate tissues of the macula become thin, they stop working well. As a result, vision is blurred. Coming to the characteristics of AMD. The early stage of dry AMD is characterized by drusen, small white or yellowish deposit on the retina that don't really affect vision that much. You won't be aware when those deposits are forming, but your doctor will be able to see them. The drusen build up over time, causing you to see blind spots in your central vision. Because dry AMD is slow progressing and painless, it can often go unnoticed until later a more severe form of the disease develop. Over time, dry AMD becomes wet AMD which is potentially more damaging. Regular eye checkups are crucial as your doctor will be able to see dry AMD signs early on. The treatment of dry AMD. Management of dry AMD involves regular monitoring of the disease. Surgery has proved to be ineffective. What is wet AMD? The wet or advanced form of AMD is less common accounting for only about 10% of the cases but it is more damaging. It can develop rapidly <coughs> and cause severe vein loss properties of wet AMD. Wet AMD involves the development of new blood vessels at the back of the eye that can rupture or bleed. This bleeding is usually accompanied by vision loss. The blood vessels leaves a scar which can cause you to see a dark spot in the center of your vision called a scotoma. During an eye exam, pictures can be taken off these blood vessels that allows the doctor to see. What is the treatment of wet AMD? There are two major types of treatment for wet AMD. One treatment uses a laser to see a leaking blood vessel in the back of the eye. The other major treatment involves a drug that prevents new blood vessels from forming in the first place. Both treatments involve regular follow-up visits to your doctor. To summarize, dry AMD is slower, more common and less severe. 
on the other hand, wet AMD is faster, less common, and more severe. Although different, both types of AMD affect the macula. Therefore, both types take away from your central vision. Let's discuss the signs and symptoms. Signs of AMD could include losing the ability to see objects clearly, having difficulty with tasks that require detailed vision, noticing distorted vision or straight lines seem wavy or bent or possibly seeing a dark or empty area in a central vision. Someone with AMD might see a blurry, wavy or bent image with the black dot center. AMD is multifactorial, meaning that it has many possible causes. It can be due to biological inheritance, smoking, obesity, unbalanced diet, or due to the cardiovascular diseases present in that person. We do know that certain risk factors increase the chance of developing AMD. There are some risk factors that you can't control. Age, for instance, is the factor that most increases your chance of developing AMD. The risk of developing AMD is a mere 8.5% for people aged 43 to 54, but up to 37% for people over 75. It can also run in families, affecting few or all family members. AMD is more common in women. There are some other factors that can be controlled. Research advises us to quit smoking, exercise regularly, eat a diet rich in fruits and low in fat and cholesterol, and to reduce exposure to UV light. Coming to the diagnosis. The process of diagnosing AMD begins with a careful eye exam by an optometrist. A doctor of optometry or an ophthalmologist, which is a medical doctor who treats eye diseases. If the doctor suspects that you might have AMD, he or she will refer you to an ophthalmologist who specializes in these conditions. This specialist will determine the type or stage of AMD you have by using a procedure called fluorescein angiogram, which is a type of dye test that examines blood vessel in the eye. He or she will then advise you at the best type of treatment. The eye exam may be done routinely or at request. First, to assess whether or not you have dry AMD, the doctor will take a detailed look inside your eye, looking for drusen. Those deposits which are characteristic of this form of AMD. He or she may also show you an ancillary grid, a diagnostic test used to see if you notice any missing or waving lines that someone with AMD would. If your doctor suspects that you might have wet AMD, he or she will refer you to a retinal specialist, which is a doctor who deals with the retina or macula at the back of the eye. This specialist will perform a procedure called fluorescein angiogram to determine the type and stage of AMD. During this procedure, a dye is injected into your arm. The dye will circulate into your blood stream, making the tiny blood vessels of the eye visible. The doctor will be looking for signs of bleeding, which indicates wet AMD. The retinal specialist will advise you and offer treatment if appropriate. You will likely to return to your regular eye doctor for further regular checkups. Thank you so much for viewing this educational program. Allah Hafiz.